10 Reasons Why It's Cool to Have Arnold as Governor. Now your local news. A local man is helping residents get drug prescriptions at a lower price. And several are dead and dozens injured after the Staten Island Ferry crashes. 10 News at 11 is next. is live, local, late breaking. Now 10 News at 11. To join a union or not to, a question answered today by employees at Brookville Hospital. Good evening and welcome to 10 News at 11. I'm Chuck Farrell. And I'm Carolyn Donaldson. After months of campaigning, a union is coming to one central Pennsylvania hospital. 10 News reporter Emily Matesic joins us live from the newsroom now with the story. Emily? Well, Chuck and Carolyn, the votes were counted this evening, and when all the math was done, workers at Brookville Hospital in Jefferson County approved unionizing. Now, here's how everything broke down. The LPN vote was close. It was 34 for the union and 30 against. The registered nurse vote wasn't as close. It was 55 for and 24 against the union. Now that the union vote has passed, the 170 nurses and technicians who work at the hospital will make up a local chapter of the Service Employees International Union. The workers have been trying to get this union passed since July. Even though the hospital made major sweeping changes over the past couple of years, including across the board raises, the nurses and technicians still wanted more. They feel by unionizing, they'll be able to ask for better pay, better benefits, and more control over what goes on at the hospital. It means now we take it to the bargaining table and we get to work out some things that will help us as the nurses for this hospital and community to make it better for the patients and for the community. We now have a voice in what to say in caring for these people. The hospital, on the other hand, is upset with the decision. They feel be now that there is a union, it will jeopardize their ability to keep the hospital doors open. They released the following statement saying, we are extremely disappointed in the result. We would like to take this opportunity to thank all of the employees who supported us through this process. Now, as for what's next for the union, the union says they will sit down and decide how they want to proceed. The hospital says they'll release more information when further developments arise. Reporting live in the newsroom, Emily Matesic, 10 News. Now, your weather first. Uh, we're taking a look, a look at temperatures across the region. Still breezy outside, but not quite as windy as it was just a few hours ago. And I'll go through the uh, peak wind gusts uh, coming up in a few minutes, but right now in State College, 51 degrees, 47 in Altoona, Johnstown at 45 degrees, a few clouds drifting around the area, especially near and north of I-80. It's 46 in Clearfield, 52 in Lewistown, Somerset at 46 degrees. Your weather first for the overnight time period, partly cloudy, a blustery breeze out there, a low temperature overnight of 38 degrees. When you wake up tomorrow morning near 40, still a chilly breeze, but again, it's not gonna be nearly as windy as it was this morning. It's a highlight to your forecast. Not as windy for tomorrow and it looks like we're going to be in a cooler pattern for a while. Not that cold, but definitely cooler than normal. I'll talk about that coming up with your seven day forecast in a few minutes. At least 10 people are dead, dozens more injured after one of the world's most famous ferries crashed today. And as Scott Rappaport tells us, authorities are now searching for an answer as to how this happened. The Staten Island Ferry, famous for its scenic views of New York City, turned into a terrifying ride for hundreds of passengers. One of the 300-foot-long ferries slammed into wood pilings as it approached a pier Wednesday afternoon. The pilings then shot into the ferry's main deck, shattering windows and lives. What apparently happened is people who were sitting there as the ferry docked were hit by the pilings that came through the side of the boat. Witnesses say commuters screamed in horror. Some passengers jumped into the chilly New York Harbor. Others were trapped beneath the rubble of the splintered vessel. At least two victims lost limbs. City officials say they don't know what caused the crash. They are not ruling out unusual windy conditions or the condition of the ferry's crew. They'll all go through drug testing. They'll all go through alcohol testing. They're all being interviewed right now. One of the boat's captains is said to be of particular interest. Broadcast reports say the captain left the scene and was later tracked down at his Staten Island home. Scott Rappaport, CBS News, New York. A Cambria County judge heard testimony whether a teenager should be tried as an adult because of a fatal accident. Three people died in a crash in February in Black Lake Township, Cambria County. Today, prosecutors asked that the case against 18-year-old Gerald 
uh, Ramsdorfer be moved out of juvenile court. The hearing was continued until early next month to give the defense time to respond to some of the expert reports. Cambria County District Attorney will not seek the death penalty against a Johnstown man accused of killing his girlfriend. Barry Treese is charged with murdering Deborah Dean inside their Johnstown home. Prosecutors believe he strangled her during a fight over alleged infidelity. Treese pleaded not guilty at yesterday's formal arraignment. His attorneys have said the killing could have been accidental. The Huntington County Coroner believes the family of seven that died in the fire late Sunday night perished from smoke inhalation. 31-year-old Kevin Brickbill, 34-year-old Anita Mayo, and their five children died when a fire broke out at their Cass Township home. A memorial service for the family will be held Saturday. The preliminary autopsy says it looks like the family died from inhaling poisonous gases. Authorities haven't determined exactly how the fire started. Colorado prosecutors are confident that NBA star Kobe Bryant will stand trial for sexual assault. The preliminary hearing ended this afternoon in Eagle County, Colorado, with no word on whether or not Bryant will stand trial. The judge, Frederick Gannett, says he hopes to reach a decision Monday. If he decides to send Kobe to trial, the case will go to the district court. A comatose woman in Florida was disconnected from her feeding tube today. Doctors unplugged Terry Cheval's life support after her husband, Michael, won the right to end her life after winning a lengthy court battle. Terry's parents wanted to keep her alive and reached out for help from Florida Governor Jeb Bush. Governor Bush responded by saying he would get his legal staff to try to block the court order. Now, Micah Schiavo's lawyer says it will take between a week to 10 days for Terry to die. Terry has been in a vegetative state since 1990. Nearly three months after reopening, a Center County medical clinic is struggling to stay afloat. A doctor with the Snowshoe Clinic says the facility is having a tough time coming up with the $8,000 a month needed to stay in business. Geisinger shut down the Mountaintop Clinic in April after its physician took another job. The facility reopened in August and is now run by a nonprofit group. There's a new option for people who can't afford to pay for their prescription drugs. Even though his store isn't uh, expected open until tomorrow, Bruce Profeiser of Cambria County already has helped at least 100 people order prescription drugs from Canada. Profeiser's business is called the American Drug Club. He says he can help patients save money. The prescriptions that they get from an American doctor, they bring into us. We then forward and fax those prescriptions over to Canada. Provisor says he wants to open an office also in Altoona. There is a woman in Altoona who opened a branch of a discount drug of Canada store. It's located at the United Video in Altoona. Bedford County Commissioners have decided that the new investors at the Cannondale plant will not get a tax break. The new local investors include former U.S. Representative Bud Schuster. At odds is what the building is valued at and how much the investors paid for it. Commissioners say if they taxed the investors how much they paid for it instead of what it's worth, the county school districts could lose as much as $26,000. A landmark for the leader of the Catholic Church. We'll show you how the Vatican is celebrating the Pope's 25th anniversary. And it looks like we are going to see still a chilly breeze tomorrow, but it won't be quite as windy as today. I'll have you Storm Tracker 10 forecast coming up next. You're watching 10 News at 11 with Carolyn Donaldson and Chuck Farrell. 10 News, live, local, and late breaking. If you see news happening, call 10 News at 1 800 762 6053. Fact. Team Nissan is one of Pennsylvania's largest Nissan dealers. Fact. Team Nissan's award winning service department is one of the best in the region. Fact. Team Nissan customers purchase their Nissans at least $500 less than other dealerships. Fact. Team Nissan averages $500 more for your trade-in than other dealerships. Fact. $500 in your pocket is better than $500 in theirs. Fact. You need to get to Team Nissan today. Scalp Avenue, Johnstown. It's tarpaulin gray. The color of the train XV90. The exact color. Oh, 
But this is lacking the heavy steel insulated cabinets for greater heat circulation. Of course, Mildred, it's a blouse. I'll tell you, not every furnace has a variable speed motor to prevent torque pulsations. Torque pulsations? Mm -hmm. That's making me frisky. Must be some furnace. The Train XV90. It's hard to stop a train. Now, get up to $1,000 cash back on a complete XLI system, plus no payments until May 2004. Rebates on other products will vary. Call a participating dealer for details. Best values in America just got better. Introducing the Platinum Series from Chrysler. Dressed up with a stunning metallic finish, an exquisite leather-trimmed interior, and chrome wheels and accents. Plus our powertrain limited warranty. And get special Platinum discounts, plus choose either 0% financing or now even more generous cash allowances. Come see what's transformed at your dealer today. This 10 News segment is brought to you by Chrysler. Cars to fall in love with. You're watching Storm Tracker 10 Weather with meteorologist Joe Murgo. Live local late breaking. Wow, what a windy day it was. Here's a time lapse starting at uh, 5 o'clock this evening. The clouds did break up this afternoon in Altoona. We just had a few clouds around between 5 and uh, 7 o'clock in the evening. You notice a few glimpses of the trees there and a beautiful sunset. The uh, foliage was starting to look nice, but if you drive out and about now, you may notice uh, a lot of the leaves did get stripped from the trees. We're still going to have some color here over the next couple of weeks, but... Uh, well, Mother Nature took care of some of the leaves a little bit early this year. 48 degrees right now in Altoona. Still windy, but not nearly as windy as before. Our westerly wind at 18 miles per hour. Still some gusts up there near 25 miles per hour, but the winds will slowly continue to diminish as the night wears on. 52 in State College, and the winds have diminished there. Out of the west at 9 miles per hour. 45 in Johnstown, a westerly wind at 16. And in Dubois, 46 miles per hour, west southwesterly wind at 14 miles per hour. Here's the peak wind gust for today. Most of them were early this afternoon. Take a look at this. Altoona, we had a gust of 53 miles per hour. State College came in at 49 miles per hour for their highest gust. 48 for Clearfield, 46 for Dubois. Johnstown had a gust of 41 miles per hour. Weather Watchers reporting in, both of them reporting a mostly clear sky. Sue in Hollandtown, 44 degrees, 47 for Ted at Pennsylvania Furnace. Both report a little bit of wind, but not uh, nearly as windy as it was last night. And with a little bit of breeze for tonight, it's not going to get that cold. Most of us will only bottom out in the upper 30s. You notice a few clouds around, and I think we will have a partly cloudy sky. By 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, the next disturbance is actually going to be heading our way in the high pressure system down to our south. So with the high so far to our south, I think we're going to have a breezy day, and we'll have more clouds and sunshine, and a couple of showers uh, could be around the area tomorrow afternoon. Showers or sprinkles, not a lot of moisture with this, but going to keep temperatures down a bit and uh, as we head into Friday another low pressure system heading our way most of that moisture should stay to our south but I think we could have a couple of showers or a low period of rain late Friday into Saturday and the cool weather pattern will continue pinpoint future cast starting 8 o'clock tomorrow morning a mix of clouds and sunshine clouds really start to win out in the afternoon and scattered showers and sprinkles during the afternoon a break tomorrow night into Friday morning and then Friday afternoon, it looks like, uh, again, a couple of more showers may uh, hit, especially the southern part of the viewing area or even a, a brief period of rain. Let's go ahead and take a look at Storm Tracker 10 forecast for tonight. Blustery out there, but not nearly as windy as today. A low temperature of 38 degrees with a few clouds around. Breezy and chilly tomorrow with clouds and some sunshine. And it looks like there'll be some showers or sprinkles scattered about the area during the afternoon. When you take 53 degrees, if it was sunny and Calm, it'd feel okay, but with a breeze, it's going to feel chilly outside, especially with more clouds and sunshine. A couple of showers possible on Friday, a high near 50. Brisk and chilly on Saturday, high near 50. Sunday, I can't rule out a shower either Sunday or Monday. We try to warm up to near 60 before some showers get here late Tuesday. The next front looks like it's going to cross Tuesday night or early Wednesday. That's a morning high of 48, and I've been talking about how we're going to be cool for the next six days, but then turning even colder yet as we head into the very end of next week. So... The party's over. Just remember, a few days ago, the 70s. <laughs> Think back. Yeah, we're headed towards November. Days. Thanks, Thank Joe. You. Coming up on 10 News at 11, we'll tell you how one local Catholic church is celebrating the Pope's 25th anniversary as Pope. Stay with us.
Never before and never again. Now you can buy like an employee at Dean Patterson. GM makes great vehicles and Chevy's one of them. And extraordinary savings can be yours during the Dean Patterson Buy Like an Employee sale. Check out the employee purchase pricing and discount manual for a complete guide to buy like an employee. Look for your copy in tomorrow's paper. Inside you'll see incredible savings. Zero percent financing on select models and more. But hurry, our inventory isn't going to last long. Buy like an employee only at Dean Patterson Chevrolet I-99 Altoona. Chevrolet will be there. All 12 locations are celebrating the grand opening of the newest Roomful Express in Monroeville with incredible store-wide savings up to 50% off, like this floral sofa or this beautiful five-piece bedroom. Plus, get free financing until 2006. Roomful will pay your interest in 2003, 2004, and 2005. So hurry in for unbeatable grand opening savings and free financing until 2006. Put it all together and sell it for less at Roomful Express. clean, 100% warm. Boy, it's great to get out of the office, but I'm still hunting. I'm hunting for a deal I can't beat, and I haven't found one yet. How about a new 2004 Chevy Cavalier? List price, $14,610. Buy it now for $10,890. How about an 04 Chevy Impala? Fully equipped. List price, $22,150. Buy it now for $18,890. If you're still hunting for a great deal, get down to Stalker Chevrolet this week, where you'll save big bucks and a lot of dough. Gene Stalker, what a great, great Allow Clearfield Bank and Trust to tailor an affordable leasing program for your business. Contact a relationship manager at 814-765-7551. Celebrations honoring Pope John Paul II's 25th year as pontiff are set to kick off. However, many remain concerned over the Pope's health. Provisions in church law were made back in 1983 to help deal with an incapacitated Pope. Cardinals say the law is more necessary now since medicine is prolonging life. Los Angeles Cardinal Roger Mahoney says even though the Pope has good and bad days, he is still in total control of the church. Local these celebrations are also scheduled to honor Pope John Paul's 25th year as head of the Catholic Church. A Mass will be held tomorrow at noon at the Cathedral in Altoona. And Altoona Johnstown Bishop Joseph Adamak will celebrate the service. The church invites everyone to attend. A new type of technology is helping doctors prevent heart attacks and save lives. Cheryl Ames will tell you how this technology could be helpful to you coming up next. Look again, look again. Truck season is here, and if you've been looking to get into a new Ford truck or SUV, feast your eyes on this, the 2004 Escape. This versatile front-wheel drive SUV is yours right now with 1,500 cash back or 0% APR. That's 1,500 back or interest-free financing. Just see your neighborhood Ford store soon, because truck season will be gone in the blink of an eye. Thanksgiving is just around the corner, and your friends at Wise want to help fill the table with a free turkey. Now through November 15th, spend just $250, and you will earn a frozen Round Hill turkey. Or save 70 cents per pound on other select turkeys. Or you can choose a 10% discount on a future order. Just present a single Preferred Shoppers Club card every time you shop. Eligible purchases are shown on your receipt. Starting November 16th, ask the cashier to redeem your free frozen turkey or select a discount. It's just our way of saying thanks. Wise, we do what works for you. Don't make the thousand dollar mistake. Buy your next vehicle from TriStar Motors. Route 22, Blairsville, 
or Huntington. If TriStar can't beat your best deal, we'll just give you the card. At Affinity Mortgage, it's all about family. We take pride in explaining the entire loan procedure. You shouldn't be intimidated by your banker or your financial advisor. Uh, you shouldn't feel as though something is happening and you're not too sure what it is. We never charge an application fee. There are no upfront monies necessary. Now may be the best time ever to refinance. If you want to do your mortgage with someone you can trust, call us today. We're Affinity Mortgage and Financial Services. At DQ, our world's greatest shakes are so great, we thought, why not call them the galaxy's greatest shakes? But then we thought, what if there's life on Rigel 7 and they've got a pretty fine shake themselves? Naturally, they get kind of upset and, well. Dude. Nah, let's just keep it the world's greatest shakes. And now, buy any food item at DQ and get a small one for 99 cents, including the new mocha shake. Do one and DQ something different. Why do people drive 100 miles to purchase a vehicle from TriStar Motors? Because, as an owner, I'm here and work every deal. And if TriStar can't beat your best deal, we'll just give you the car. TriStar. HealthCast is brought to you by Clearfield Hospital, celebrating over 100 years of healing. You're watching HealthCast with Charlotte Ames. A high-tech way of detecting heart problems is getting both doctors and patients pumped up. EBT technology is being used more and more to prevent heart attacks and save lives. Ken Ligren keeps himself in good shape, so he was surprised when a body scan showed he was at risk for a heart attack. This thing saved my life. There is no doubt about it. Ken's talking about electron beam tomography, or EBT. It works by taking a picture of a patient's coronary arteries. The white indicates plaque buildup. The test itself does not tell us if the arteries are blocked by the plaque, but as it turns out, it is not as critically important to determine whether the arteries are narrowed, but rather to determine how much plaque you have. Ken was being treated for high cholesterol, and doctors considered him low risk for a heart attack. But in fact, he turned out to be in the very highest risk category. And further testing led to the discovery that he had significant narrowing in his coronary arteries, and he underwent bypass surgery. I had no, no symptoms whatsoever. Two days later, I'm in here, and they're telling me I've got critical blockage in, in some of my arteries. An EBT scan catches what other traditional cardiac tests can miss. So they might have had a stress test that was perfectly normal, walked out of the doctor's office, ruptured a plaque, and dropped dead. Of those people, with this EBT technology, we can detect 95% of them. Any other method for assessing a patient's risk is no better than a flip of a coin. Ken's doing fine now, and he knows how lucky he is. As far as I'm concerned, if I didn't have this body scan, I might not even be here now. EBT technology is becoming more mainstream. Talk to your doctor to see if you're a candidate for the procedure. With HealthCast, I'm Charlotte Ames. In baseball, the Cubs are looking for their first World Series berth since 1945. And the Red Sox try to force Game 7 with the Yankees. Ryan Roberts will have all your highlights coming up next in sports. Hunters, you'll find the biggest selection in these super specials at Grice Gun Shop. Get a Browning A-Bolt, lightweight, short-action rifle with Magnum Ballistics and Browning Stainless, Composite, Medallion, or Hunter. In the new 270, 7mm, or 300 Winchester short mags, starting at just $549.95. And Grice's have Browning's Hydrofleece 4-in-1 Parkas for just $199.99. See Grice Gun Shop, Pennsylvania's largest gun shop, in Clearfield, now open seven days a week. When people find out Breakstone's Cottage Doubles has half the sugar of yogurt, it leaves them in a dilemma. What to do with their yogurt? Breakstone's Cottage Doubles. As a board member of Arcadia Theater, Elsie Mock is a supporter of the Johnstown Fine Arts. As branch manager at First National Bank's Winber office, she also excels at the art of helping customers. Working at First National Bank works for me and for my community. Fact, Team Nissan is one of Pennsylvania's largest Nissan dealers. Fact, Team Nissan's award-winning service department is one of the best in the region. Fact, 
19 Nissan customers purchased their Nissans at least $500 less than other dealerships. Fact. Team Nissan averages $500 more for your trade-in than other dealerships. Fact. $500 in your pocket is better than $500 in theirs. Fact. You need to get to Team Nissan today. Scalp Avenue, Johnstown. This fall, you can cut up and clean up with Steel Outdoor Power Equipment. Right now, buy the lightweight, powerful BG55 handheld gas blower and you'll get a $20 rebate. The BG55 was $149.95, but with the $20 mail-in rebate, it's now just $129.95. The BG55 is available only at your servicing steel retailer. Are you ready for a steal? When you talk about important design features, the GMC Envoy can teach the imports a lesson. Because with a tighter turning radius and more horsepower than Honda Pilot, Toyota 4Runner, and Lexus RX 330, the Envoy is engineered to be in a class of its own. Right now, get $3,000 total cash back on a new 2004 GMC Envoy. Upgrade to professional grade. See the pros at your local GMC dealers. We're more than a car wash company. We're a way of life. Joining on the spot car washes, residential and commercial cleaning, and wireless express. You'll like us a lot. You're watching 10 Sports with Ryan Roberts. 10 Sports, live, local, late breaking. The Chicago Cubs haven't reached the World Series in 58 years, and after last night's wacky eighth inning, many fans were left feeling they may not reach the series again this year. Could last night's Cub fan robbing a possible out be a new curse? Tonight's Game 7 will tell, will tell the tale. Gary Wood and Moises Alou and Troy O'Leary homered for the Cubs, but the Marlins scored three runs in the fifth inning and two runs in the seventh. They currently lead 9-6 in the bottom of the ninth inning. Meantime, in the Bronx, the Yankees playing host to the Red Sox in Game 6. We pick this one up tied in the third. David Ortiz doubles to center. Two runs would score, and the Red Sox go up 3-1. to one. Bottom of the fourth would be huge for the Yanks. Alfonso Soriano doubles to center. Two runs would score. New York takes the lead 5-4. But just when you count the Sox out, they're back in it. After tying the game at 6 in the 7th, Felix Heredia walks in the go-ahead run. Trot Nixon would add a two-run homer in the ninth, and the Red Sox win 9-6. to six. Game 7 gets underway tomorrow. Okay, I said it a lot last night, and a lot of people laughed at me, but this team just give us a chance. And, um, you know, we had our backs to the ball even even more so after giving up a, a three-run lead and then turn around being down two and still coming away and, and fighting through that game and finding a way to win. Game seven is set for tomorrow, 8 o'clock on Fox. Steeler lineman Marvell Smith returned to practice today after missing two games and part of another with a shoulder injury. Smith played only during one series of Pittsburgh's current three-game losing streak. Smith should help eliminate the shuffling that plagued the offensive line during Sunday's loss at Denver. The Steelers are idle until October 26th when they host St. Louis. Week 8 of the high school football and the Altoona Mountain Lions have been pretty successful on the road this season, including an upset at then fourth-ranked Easton. Now the Mountain Lions have another test as they head to Gettysburg on Friday. Last year, the Lions put a 42-7 Hurton on Gettysburg, who was state-ranked and 7-0 and oh before coming to Mansion Park. Phil Riccio knows it will be a different story this year for his squad because Gettysburg will be looking for payback. It's going to be an interesting game being that it's on the road. Um, you know, we played well against them last year, and I'm, I'm sure that's in their, their mind, and they don't want to see that happen again, what happened last year. And then we're also going in this game with, with a lot of injuries, a lot of nagging injuries and, and some more serious. So uh, it's going to be a real test of our kids to see how they respond in this situation. And week eight matchups we'll be featuring on the 10 sports beat include Mo Valley taking on Bellwood Annis. State College travels to Central Mountain. 
Bladesburg Kim will visit Southern Huntington. Indian Valley takes on Tyrone. Richland travels to Forest Hills. Bishop McCourt takes on Central Cambria. Johnstown versus Central. Williamsburg travels to Juniata Valley. Elk County Catholic versus Brockway. And Laurel Valley takes on Northern Cambria. Join us for highlights and more on the 10 Sports Beat Friday at 11:15. With just five Winston Cup races left to go, Matt Kenseth's 267-point lead seems secure, but there are a number of interesting scenarios that could shake up the rest of the top ten. Dale Earnhardt Jr. sits in third place in the Winston Cup point standings, but there is only 83 points separating him and Jeff Gordon, who sits in sixth. With the race schedule winding down, drivers are putting a high priority on Martinsville this weekend. Martinsville, it's obviously a tough place to get around, and... Uh, it's when you're running well, it's a lot of fun. I think the way the track it now has a second groove uh, is really helping things out. So, looking forward to it. It's a tough place, and hopefully, we're able to, to get a win or something there. NASCAR heads to Martinsville Speedway on Sunday. Looks like there really might be a curse on Chicago. Hate to say it for any Cub fans, but Aww. could be possible. Okay, thanks. Thank Ryan. you. With the leaves turning every day, it's getting to be that time of year again, pumpkin season. Well, next, we're going to show you the winning Powerball numbers first. Click on tellusmore.com to learn more about Holland Brothers Meats. The 2004 Pontiac Grand MSC Solid Value with performance shift automatic, aluminum wheels, CD player, and power interior features lives up to its name and then some. Now lease a well-equipped 2004 Grand MSC Solid Value for around $199 a month. Residency restrictions apply. Call for lease details. See your participating local Pontiac dealer today. This is the final weekend of Wolf Furniture's Columbus sale and your last chance to buy quality home furnishings with zero finance charges for two and a half years. This six-piece reclining leather sectional is now only $19.88. A leather rocker recliner half off now just $3.98. Or this stylish four-piece bedroom for only $9.98. Plus receive the footboard and rails free. Look for our sales circular in your local paper. It's the final weekend of Wolf Furniture's Columbus sale. A 6,500 pound towing capacity. Just one of the many reasons the trail rated Jeep Grand Cherokee is so capable. Get 0% financing for 60 months or a $3,500 cash allowance plus our 770 powertrain limited warranty. If it's not trail rated, it's not a Jeep 4x4. The best values in America just got better. We're ready. Are you? Introducing Ponderosa's delicious mouth-watering baby back ribs. Slow cooked in a tangy barbecue sauce. They're part of our new Western barbecue starting at $7.99. Grab a rack today because they're going fast. Ponderosa Steakhouse. Come on and get it. In a hurry? Grab our ribs and wings to go at Ponderosa. just got a lot more affordable. Subaru, driven by what's inside. On the next Live with Regis and Kelly, Lucy Liu is the beautiful bad girl in Quentin Tarantino's hot new movie, Kill Bill. You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? She'll share the behind-the-scenes action with Regis and Kelly. Then she's not the girl next door anymore. I have a problem. Katie Holmes takes on a whole new role in Pieces of April. Plus R&B artist Anthony Hamilton performed. And on Friday, Oscar winner Dustin Hoffman. That's all on Live. Weekdays at 9 on TV 10. Best part about a pumpkin are the pies that you can make out of them or the designs that you can carve into them. 
Well, you're not going to get to do either of those things from these pumpkins. They are all made out of glass. More than 600 pumpkins are on display at this year's 8th annual Great Glass Pumpkin Patch. These pumpkins, as you see, come in all shapes and sizes, and all the proceeds uh, from the admission fee from this year's display go to a local school district. And they don't rot out. <laughs> right. They don't get that little ooze after it. <laughs> Just put them away, buy it once, don't need to buy a new one yeah. every year. But will Charlie Brown wait for the great glass pumpkin? I don't know if that works. Little update on uh, the Cubbies game? Yeah. Yes, uh, they uh, ended up falling to the Marlins nine to six. So the Marlins are in. Are in. Uh, Yankees, Red Sox. We'll have to wait till tomorrow night. That game All will right. be eight o'clock. Getting exciting. Yeah. Tomorrow's a chilly day, but not as stop. chilly. Not as windy as today. There you go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow night. <laughs> have a good evening. Closed captioning provided as a public service by Edgar Snyder and Associates, a law firm representing injured people. It's the most outrageous.